All right, I'm going to show you how to update a 6,000 receiver using the port on the bottom of the receiver to um, put the USB stick in. So I'm using a 2600 display today. You can use a 2630, 2600. Or, uh, this, this method is going to look the same on either one. And it's very similar to doing a Gen 4 as well. But the first thing we're going to do is start the display up, and then we're going to put our 2630 update in there. You can use either a 2630 update or a 6000 receiver update. Um, there's just going to be one little difference, and I'll show you that here. So we got the USB stick installed. You're going to hit the bottom right-hand corner main menu, uh, Starfire 6000 receiver. We have a 4600, 4640 Gen 4 screen. Um, it's going to look a little bit different. Across the bottom, we're going to go to ISO bus VT, and then you can see your receiver there, or you might have to hit this box at the bottom, open it up, and then click on the receiver. If ISO bus VT is not across the bottom, you can hit that main menu, applications, and then find your ISO bus VT in that. Uh, and then it's going to load to this screen here, most likely. And then we're going to find uh, this letter. Um, uh, it, it's going to look different on different versions of software. Sometimes it might just say USB. Sometimes it'll be a picture of just a little file folder. Sometimes it'll be a picture of the USB stick. Uh, but we'll hit that and then come down here to the bottom and it says update receiver. If you just have the um, 6000 receiver software uh, loaded on your stick, there, you're only going to see one option here. But since I have the 2630 software, you'll see multiple options. But we're going to pick the one that says SF6000, check mark it. It shows you your current version, and we're aiming today for 4.4p, and then we'll hit update. And this will take about five minutes. Thanks.